and it's all because of this stupid purse. What did you do to my daughter? I swear to God, if you touched her... Peter! Honey, what happened? Well, it was lunchtime. I love the color of your Prada bag. Yeah, but yours has that great clasp. Hey, man, want to come to lunch? Oh, you know what? There's no room in my car for your big, ugly purse. <laughs> Meg, let me tell you about popularity. Mrs. Canner. Bye. Daddy, if you really love me, you buy me a Prada bag. I can't say no to you, honey. What are they, like 10 bucks? More like 11. 100. <laughs> you wish I loved you that much. Good evening, I'm Diane Simmons. A stunning development tonight is O.J. Simpson is proven innocent. We have the identity of the real killer. But first... It's fall, the time of year when the leaves turn that pretty purpley orange and Quahog prepares for its annual Harvest Festival Parade. Come on, overcoming adversity! Let's go, overcoming adversity! Tell me women I gave the clap to. Out! The Harvest Festival Parade theme is... Episode of Who's the Boss, where Tony sees Angela naked in the shower? Yes, that's mine! Unfreaking believable Hey! <laughs> Clumsy oof! Michael Flatley must be turning over in his grave. Yet, Michael Flatley. Peter, it's great they picked your theme, but isn't it a little esoteric? Esoteric? I think it's a science term. Fellas, fellas, esoteric means delicious. Lois, who's the boss is not a food? Perhaps I should seek employment. Mother teaches piano. I suppose I could as well. All right, try it again, Richard. And remember, the wrong key electrified. Ah! I don't want to play the piano! Indy, would you rather play the bassoon? <laughs> it's not Tony or Angela. It's not even man crazy Mona. It's all of us. Quagmire, you're the boss because you never give up. Like with the lady. Gemini. Oh. Capricorn. Oh. <laughs> ah. Hey, from down here, you look like a Pisces. Ah. And Cleveland, you're the boss because of your attention to detail. But I don't, because that would be a hate crime, and I love you. And Joe, I've had new neighbors before, but none of them were half the man you are. Since you're half a man already, that splits them into some kind of fraction I can't even measure. Peter's right. If we work together, we can win this. Who's in? Go, Spoonie Street! My dad always says, measure twice, cut once. My daddy always said, Cleveland Jr., quit jumping on the bed. <laughs> We didn't measure! We didn't measure! Amazing, Peter. You've inspired the whole neighborhood to work together. You know what's really amazing, Brian? I haven't brushed my teeth in three days. Well, I can't send an unwed teenage mother out on the street without a job. Stewie. My son's name is Stewie. <laughs> Meg, order up. Here you go, hon. From Flappy himself. I don't care if they're from Cuba, filthy, wretched God. Him. You like him? Yes, yes, well, I rather doubt that. I... Mm, I oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, these are delectable. Oh, flap it. Good news. What a precious little boy. Oh, that's my... Uh, son. Your son? But you're just a baby yourself. Henry, give the little skank a nice tip. Twenty bucks. Welcome to Flappy's. Why don't you have a seat next to my little baby whose Debbie dad doesn't pay child support? <laughs> Welcome to the 83rd Annual Quahog Harvest Festival Parade. Are you as excited as I am, Tom? Are you kidding, Diane? I've got wood. And clipped onto this piece of wood is a list of this year's float entries. Remember, the float that best captures this year's theme wins Quahog's coveted golden clam. And here's our first float. Only bathing Jonathan. Well, that's just plain wrong. Each float possesses its own unique charm, but none of oh. them... First place goes to Spooner Street. <laughs> Come on now, this is damn foolish. My theme, my trophy. My Aunt Fanny, you said it yourself, Peter, I'm the boss. Cleveland got his due. Oh, my feet are starting to swell. You two go home. I can stay here as long as it takes. You'd be amazed how little you have to eat when your legs don't work. Whoa, 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 there's, there's, there's gotta be a way for you all to enjoy the trophy. Wait a minute, I got it. Oh, lost it. Oh, there it is again. Perfect, Peter. Now we can all enjoy it. Oh, you oh, guys. So everybody. What's going on out here? I thought the safety was on. I'm so sorry. That's okay, son. It's your right as an American citizen. That's all the noise, boys. I was just jerk. You think one of us stole it? I never said the word stole. Looks like someone has a guilty conscience. Flag out in the rain last 4th of July. That's against the law, officer. Ooh. Yeah, you're one to duck. Out there every trash day, picking through my garbage to invasion of my privacy. Ooh. He 
he's sudden you're a cyclin' because he loves our Mother Earth. If you weren't so busy trolling for booty all the damn time, you could do it yourself. All says you should. Oh. Ooh. Wait a second. What about Peter? He's the one who wanted the trophy all along. I couldn't have stolen it. Last night I was stealing Joe's ladder so I could steal a trophy tonight. Peter. What? It's a ladder. He can't use it. It's like taking a watch off a dead guy. Those griffins always were oddballs, Joe. Real oddballs. I don't trust them. This whole thing just makes me sick. For crying out loud, we played Pictionary with them. Bastard. Oh, bye. I think they used to be our best friends. Well, that was then. And this is now. And this is a chair. And that's a lamp. And you have boobies. And I'm gonna find that trophy. Well, to be honest, Peter, we were all a little surprised you invited us over. Oh, there's the tea. I'll get it, Lois. Two sugars, right, Barney? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Nothing. Eh, not here either. Damn, it's not here. Oh, my God. Is anything missing? No, I don't think so. A picture of me and my two-piece at the Cape. Should I call the cop? No, oh, I'm guessing a cop may have had something to do with this. Or a pilot. Or a deli owner. Okay, you dirtbags! This means war! Being a single mother is hard, but the real challenge is having a baby that's addicted to crap. Right, Stewie? What's that? Oh, yes, yes. I love crap. I'm absolutely cuckoo for crack. This is the first time he's eaten something other than dog. Well, here's your check. God bless. What's this? Blueberries. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, that's better than sex. Oh, and could I get that waitress's address? I'd like to help her baby. Good. Excuse us, we're having a small problem with home security. What? Do you guys have those round metal things that you bury in the ground and when you step on them they explode? Landmines? Landmines! Land it was landmines. Quagmire. Dee Dee. Cleveland. Joe. Bonnie. Cleveland. Lois. Bonnie. Quagmire. Peter. <clears throat> Loretta. Come on, Peter. That ought to slow him down. We're right in! Ha 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 ha! Well, Cleveland and Quagmire are holding their positions, but I haven't seen Joe all day. Dad? Careful, Kevin. There's a bear trap two feet to your right. Look out for your mother! There's a sandwich on the counter, honey. Those people are nothing but vile, cheating, lying scum. And their carpet and drape scheme? No, no, I won't. Get that puree of loathsomeness away from me. But you love mashed turkey and pea. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Did you just tell me what I love? Hi, little fella. Is Meg Griffin here? No, she's not. Probably out scoring more rock. Sandy Belfer, Child Services. We're placing this baby in a foster home. What? For God's sake, feed me! Let me guess. All out of puppy chow? What an awful home for a child. How dare you? This is a wonderful home. See, when you're the unwed teenage mother of a crack-addicted baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. Meg, when did you become a teenager? She's 16, Peter. You know about this? Baby Stewie, say hello to your new brothers and sisters. Hola, Stewie. Ni hao, Stewie. Stew. Good God, I've been adopted by a Benetton ad. Oh, damn it, I want pancakes! God, you people understand every language except English. You quiero pancakes. Don't him want pancakes. Click, click, bloody click, pancakes. Poor little guy. Pancakes must be straight for crack. Damn those parents of his. Sarah, forgiveness. Why don't you go play with the others? Come complete a rainbow. I've got a better idea. Let's go play swallow the stuff under the sink. I promise it'll never happen again. I hope not, Mrs. Stevens. Because next time, we won't just take him away. We'll kill him. Stanley Starkweather Stevens. So this is where babies come from? Yes, Chris. This is where babies come from. You told me I came out of your vagina. Hi, yeah, where the Griffins? Griffin, Griffin. I'm sorry, I can't find your paperwork. Well, look harder. I want my baby back. Lois, Lois, please, let me handle this. The name's Griffin. We're the ones who fed dog food to our crack-addicted baby. Mm, actually, I, I said Satan. That's a typo. We, we didn't know who that woman was. It's not our fault. Oh, then whose fault is it? 
It's all of yours. You were all working together just fine, but then you won that stupid trophy. You put some shiny hunk of metal before your own friendships. Brian's right. Oh, we were so obsessed with that trophy, we lost sight of what was really going on. Well, now we have a real problem to deal with. That's right. Somebody tipped off the cable company about our free Cinemac. And we have to get Stewie back. I remembered. Help. And we must get our baby back. Right on! Let's do it! Rock that world! Rock that world! Yeah! Oh, come on! Yeah. Let's go! We can do it! All races living together in harmony and love. He needs hugs! We're from the One World, One People Book of the Month Club. Is there something missing in your life? You know, I just bet there is. Sarah! We have guests! And one of them is a homosexual! Would you like to learn how to wrap a turban? Oh, why don't you teach it to the Chinese girl? Or perhaps she can learn after her people invade your country. Uh, me? Would your people really do this? Oh, try and stop them. And try and stop Pablo's people from using drug money to buy arms from Lee's country to Yuri's people so that they can ethnically cleanse the rest of this nauseatingly diverse bag of genetic party favors you call a family. So now you understand, yes, you all hate each other. Oh, Hosanna, it's the lesser of two evils. Oh, uh, hey, hey, kids. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Santa Claus. But you are right. Jack and Sarah told me Santa is Indian. Don't be stupid. Santa is black. Kill me with his blinker on. Go back to your rice pig. Shut, Shut up. up. Come on, Stewie, we're out of here. Dance, puppets, dance. Well, that's a very long story, but we've grown attached to little Stewie. Plus, the law's on our side. Oh, you people can kiss the fattest part of my ass. Is that a real Prada bag? <gasps> I'd like to propose a toast. Smelly Hawaiians might move in. Here, here! Hey, where's Quagmire? Yeah, if it wasn't for him, we never would have found out where Stewie's foster family live. Said he was going to distract that social... Glenn, honey, I have a question for you. Why are you still here? What the heck happened to that trophy anyway? I guess some mysteries are better left unsolved. Submitted for your approval, a family pet with the uncontrollable urge to bury shiny objects in the yard. A secret that nearly buried the peace and civility of an entire neighborhood.